Hey guys, how are you today? Welcome, welcome to Show Enough World. Today I will be making some chocolate chip cookies. This is my own personal recipe. How many of you out there like chocolate chip cookies? How many of you out there know that it is hard to find the right recipe? I have tried over and over again to find the right recipe and not one recipe actually worked for me. So what I did was I had to combine some things that I liked in one recipe to something that I liked in another recipe to make my cookies the way I want to. And when I say, you know, how you try the recipes, like either the cookies going to come out hard or they're going to come out like splat on your cookie sheet or something like that. That has been my experience with uh, chocolate chip cookies over the years. Um, the reason I have this flower here, because I want you to see this flower here. This is a real good flower by Red Mill, Bob Red Mills. It does not compare to the rest of the flowers. It is better than the rest of the flowers. And why do I say that? Because I've been making cakes for a long time and I tried that um, flower on my last two cakes and I love how they formed. There was no falling in or I, I don't have that problem often, but just the fact that this made my cake so much better when I was making a layer cake, it came out perfectly the way I want to. And usually when I make a cake where I'm using um, like a little bit of wet ingredients, it can make the cake sink. Um, and I was very concerned about that, but when I used this flour, it leveled it off perfectly. So if you're looking for a good flour, I would recommend Bob Red Mills flour. It's really good, it tastes good too. Um, so today you're gonna need, for this ingredient, you're gonna need two and a half cups of flour and one teaspoon of um, baking soda. You're gonna need chocolate chips. I have the regular chocolate morsels. I have one cup of those, one cup of pecans, two eggs, one stick of butter, let's say one and three fourths stick of butter. Now, what makes my cookies really good is I'm not using two full, two sticks of butter. I'm using one and one stick and um, five tablespoons, which is going to make this to be one third of butter. I'm going to melt this side, this half, okay? Um, the other thing that makes it good is I'm using one yolk and the other egg, okay? So I'm not going to use the full egg. I'm just only going to use the yolk. I'm using one cup of sugar and a half a cup of, I mean, one cup of brown sugar and a half cup of white sugar. And that's, oh yeah, let's not forget the handy dandy vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla. My cookies come out real good, so I'm only going to use three pans, three large pans of, um, it makes three large pans plus a few extra uh, cookies. Um, so I'm just going to get started and I hope you enjoy this video. Again, this is my own recipe. There is none like it in all the YouTube or even written down in someone else's book. This is just showing up, gonna keep it real with you. So uh, hold one moment, put the ingredients together. There's, um, you know, put the sugar, go ahead and mash that down a little bit. You know you put the butter and then the sugar, right? But that's okay with how I'm doing this. I just want to show you how I actually, what makes this recipe different from others or make my cookies. Like, you know how they have the vanishing um, oatmeal raisin cookies? Well, these are vanishing chocolate chip cookies. And what make this, you know, you have to have the fresh brown sugar. My brown sugar almost feels like it's still as much as I use it, but this one, I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit. So excuse me if I'm taking a little while longer, but I really want you guys to see how this works. Usually I put the butter first, okay? But in this case, I'm just gonna show you how like this. It doesn't matter if I put the sugar first or the butter first. It's not gonna mess up anything. 
So we're gonna put the butter in. Don't forget, you're gonna use one stick of butter. And you're gonna use the, which is one third, which is five tablespoons of a stick of butter and you're gonna melt that, okay? I believe that's what gives it that kind of chewy, that chewy um, consistency. It's gonna be crispy and chewy, not just crunchy cookie. It's, it's a soft cookie and even though it sits overnight, it's still going to have that same soft and crispiness to it. Okay, once you get it, you know, like this, I may pause it and do the rest long ways because I really like you to see the entire video. And I hope the lighting is right as well. I am working on getting me a camera. Okay, so once you have your butter and sugar all together, and you do not need a mixer for this one, you can just use your hand. The other unique thing is to put your one egg, one egg, okay? And then, after you get that mixed in real good, you go ahead and add your egg yolk. Okay. That is what gives it that elasticity, I suppose, meaning it keeps it chewy. The butter and the eggs, but it's the way, it's the way we put it. Instead of two sticks of butter, we're only using a stick of butter and one third of a stick, which is five tablespoons. The rest, you already know. I'm just gonna add the flour, the pecans, and the chocolate chips, and I'm gonna put them in the oven and be done. I just wanted to show you how to put this part together, and I'll be back in just a moment. For this, I just have, this is an ungreased cookie sheet. Okay, so here we have about 39 cookies. I said three um, pans in the beginning, but I have big pans. It actually makes three and one fourth um, dozen of cookies. So now I'm gonna put them in the oven and we'll be back in a moment to taste them. Oh, we bake them at 350 for 100. We bake them at 350 for 15 minutes. Alrighty guys, the cookies are ready as you can see. They came out delicious looking. Just gonna take them off. See how they just slide right off of the pan. And I'll have one for you because I said I would. It's buttery, it's crispy. Simply delicious. And the pecans. Do you like pecans? I love pecans. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this short video. I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. Have a great, wonderful rest of your day. I'll, you'll see me in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.